Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to show you how to install Galaxy S5 Mini Alpha A5 6.1 Black ROM on your Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300. This is the XDA link, you will get this link from the video description below. And the latest version is released in November 14. And the link is here, go here and download the link. And you can see I already downloaded this ROM file, so now copy this file to my Note 3. So here you can see I copied this files to my S3, and there is also one bug fix is there, so you have to download that one also. Now I'm going to re reboot my system to custom recovery. I'm using GWRP recovery, and uh, it is uh, recommended. So if you didn't flash that, there is a link in the video description which will show you how to install. GWRP recovery. Go and check it out and then to get Android into recovery you have to press volume up, home button and power button at the same time. Press and hold it until this locker comes. Then release. So you can see it's loading to GWRP recovery. I'm using the version 2.8 something. First you better go and take a Nitride backup of the current ROM. After that go and wipe a factory reset wipe and then go back and then go and select install and then browse that downloaded ROM file which I stored in ROMs folder and then here is the alpha a5 black version ok and flash it to so here you can see it started showing the aroma installation from where we can customize the installations Okay, in the first screen just information then next then uh, agree the user agreement and all next and then you better back up your EFS next and then install with full wipe next if you are coming from the previous version of this ROM then you can go with without wipe but I prefer go with installation with full wipe then install Galaxy Mini L4 and then started installing It will take some time. So you can see the installation is done. So click next and then turn off this every boot device if you are need to flash some bug fixes. I told you I downloaded this bug fix. So now I am going to select that and then flash it. So it's also completed. Now I am going to reboot the system. So here you can see it start showing the boot animation. Remember that the first boot will take some time because it has to create that Dalby cache. So please be patient. Okay, now just finalize the installation with these settings. I'll give all these Wi-Fi details and all later. You have to agree the license. And then you have to provide your Google account. your name then Samsung account and then your device name so here you can see you are loaded into a the new ROM If you go to settings you can see you can see I'm running on a Galaxy S5 mini alpha A5 which is based on Android 4.4.4 if you want to see the review of this ROM there is a link in the description which will show you and uh, that's it thanks for watching please subscribe for more